みなさんこんにちはローズです。元気ですかこのビデオでは27番の文法を紹介します。でもその前に26番のレッスンを復習しましょう。Explaining causes, reasons using んです。For example, 寒いんです。海外に住んでいたんですかどうして遅れたんですか電車が遅れたんです。お金がないんですが、明日払ってもいいですか ?Would you please do me the favor of doing something using verb in that form? Followed by いただけませんか For example, やり方がわからないんですが、教えていただけませんか出す前に見ていただけませんかそちらで電話を忘れましたが、探していただけませんか ?WH questions shall I? Using verb たらいいですか For example, どこで食べたらいいですか何を買ったらいいですかどうしたらいいですか ?Replacing particle が with topic particle は Subject followed by the what particle and then the information. For example, 果物は好きじゃない。スポーツは上手じゃないんです。テストはあります。はい、大丈夫ですかそれでは27番の文法を勉強しましょう。Here are the grammar points for this lesson. In this lesson, we will learn about potential verbs. Or verbs expressing the ability to do something, or in English, can or be able to. To change a regular verb to potential verb, for group one verbs, just change the e syllable into e syllable. For example, kakimas, which means to write. Change the ki syllable to ke. So it becomes kakemas, be able to write or can write. For plain potential verb, we change it to kakeru. So the mas becomes ru. Kakeru. Kakimas, kakemas, kakeru. Another example is kaimas or to buy something. So change the i to e. Kaemas, kaeru. Another example is yomimas or to read. Yomemas, yomeru. For group two verbs such as tabemas and tatemas, we just add rare before the mas. Tabe rare mas. Tabe rare mas. For plain potential form, tabe rare ru. Tatemas means to build something. Tate rare mas. Tate rare mas. For plain, tate rare ru. Tate rare ru. And for group three, which consists of kimas and shimas, we change the words into a different、uh, word. Kimas becomes korare mas. Korare mas. For plain form, korare ru. Korare ru. For shimas, or to do something, It becomes dekimas, dekimas, and for plain form, dekiru, dekiru. Potential verb sentences particles. So usually the objects or the subject of a transitive verb is marked with the particle o. However, if we use the potential verb, we use particle ga to mark the object or the subject of the sentence. However, if the particle is ni or e, 
it stays the same. So normally, when we have a sentence like, I speak English, Watashi wa ego wo hanashimasu. So here we are using the particle o. However, when we use potential verbs, for example, I can speak English. I can speak English. So the particle changes to ga. Watashi wa ego ga hanase mas. So hanashi becomes hanase and the o particle becomes ga. Watashi wa ego ga hanasemasu. I can speak English. Another example. Can you go to the airport alone? Can you go to the airport alone? Hitori de kuko e ikemasu ka? Hitori de kuko e ikemasu ka? So our verb is ikimasu. So it becomes ikemasu. Can you go? Ikemasu ka? So as you can see, when the particle is e, it remains the same. So we don't change it to ga. Only if we use the particle o that it be, that it changes to ga. But for ni and e particle, they stay the same. Last example. Can you wake up at 6 tomorrow morning? Ashita rokuji ni wake up or okimas so can you wake up oki daremasu ka oki daremasu ka so okimas is group two verb so we add rare oki daremasu ka ashita rokuji ni so the particle stays the same oki daremasu ka ashita rokuji ni oki daremasu ka next is potential verb sentences uses so there are two uses for potential verbs. The first is to express a person's ability to do something. Kara can read Hangul. Kara san wa Hangul ga yomemas. So the verb is read or yomimas. So can read becomes yomemas. Kara san wa Hangul ga yomemas. Another use of potential verbs is to express the possibility of an action in a certain situation. For example, can I still change my order? Can I still change my order? So our verb is change. Kaemasu. Chumon ga mada kaeraremasu ka? Chumon ga mada kaeraremasu ka? So kaemasu is group two verb. So it becomes kaeraremasu. Next are the words miemas and kikoemas. See and hear. First, let's review the verb mimas, which means to look, see, or watch, and the verb kikimas, which means to listen. The potential form of the verb mimas is miraremas, to be able to see. And the potential verb of kikimas is kikemas, be able to listen. Now, we will learn about the verbs miemas and kikoemas. So the difference between miraremas and miemas is that miraremas is voluntary. So the person is actually doing the action, while miemas is involuntary. Or unintentional. It's the same with kikemas and kikoemas. Again, kikemas is voluntary. The person is doing the action. While the verb kikoemas, it's involuntary or it's beyond the control of the person. Let's take a look at some examples. You can watch the movie starting tomorrow. So our verb is to watch or can watch. Ashita kara sono eiga ga miraremasu. So from mimas it becomes miraremasu, can watch. So this is a potential verb. 
However, if we say Mount Fuji can be seen from this town, so we use Kono machi kara Fujiyama ga miemasu. Miemasu. So we use the involuntary verb for see, which is miemas, because the action is involuntary. Kono machi kara Fujiyama ga miemasu. Next is for kikimasu or to listen. You can listen to the explanation using this audio guide. Audio guide de setsume ga kikemasu. So kikimasu to listen. Can listen becomes kikemasu. Audio guide de setsume ga kikemasu. However, if we use the kikoemasu or to hear, strange sound can be heard from that room. Strange sound can be heard from that room. So this is involuntary. Ano heya kara fushigi na oto ga kikoemasu. Ano heya kara fushigi na oto ga kikoemasu. So again, this is involuntary. Next is dekimasu. We first learned about the word dekimasu in lesson 18, which means to be able to or can. Here we will learn another meaning of dekimasu, which are come into being, come up, be completed, be finished, or be made. For example, a new mall has been completed near my school. Gakkou no chikaku ni atarashii mooru ga dekimashita. Gakkou no chikaku ni atarashii mooru ga dekimashita. Another example is dinner is ready. Ban gohan ga dekimashita. Ban gohan ga dekimashita. Next is the particle wa, which follows other particles. We have learned that the wa particle is used to highlight or emphasize the noun as a topic. Sometimes it also replaces particle ga and o, which we've learned in lesson 10, 17, and 26. However, if the particle is de, ni, or e, and so on, we don't remove the particle, but we add wa after them. For example, de wa. Niwa, ewa, and so on. For example, in the room, there is a TV. Heya niwa, terebi ga arimasu. Heya niwa, terebi ga arimasu. So here, the particle ni is followed by particle wa to highlight the room. So it says that in the room, there is a TV. However, when you say heya ni terebi ga arimasu, there is a TV in the room. The focus is on the TV. Another example, at the store, you can buy Japanese wine. Mise de wa sake ga kaemasu. Mise de wa sake ga kaemasu. From this building, fireworks can be seen. From this building, fireworks can be seen. Kono biru kara wa hanabi ga miemasu. Kono biru kara wa hanabi ga miemasu. Next is particle mo, meaning also. We first learned about the mo particle in lesson 1, wherein it replaces particle wa. It can also replace particle o and ga. For example, I ate salad. I also ate a cake. Sarada o tabemashita. Keiki mo tabemashita. So here, o is replaced by mo. Mr. Shimizu can speak English. He can also speak Chinese. Shimizu san wa Ego ga hanasemasu. Chugoku mo hanasemasu. So ga is replaced with mo. 
In the room, there is a TV. Also in the living room, there is a TV. 部屋にはテレビがあります。リビングルームにもテレビがあります。部屋にはテレビがあります。リビングルームにもテレビがあります。And last is the word しか meaning only, just or nothing but. It's the same as the word だけ from lesson 11. But the difference is that it's always used with a negative sentence, while dake is used with a positive sentence. It replaces the particle ga and o, but comes after particles such as ni or de, ni shika or de shika. For example, I have nothing but just one copy. Kopi wa hitotsu shika arimasen. Kopi wa So, shika is followed by a negative verb, which is arimasen. But if you use dake, I only have one copy. Kopi wa hitotsu dake arimas. Kopi wa hitotsu dake arimas. So, here it's a positive verb. So, the shika uses the negative verb, dake uses the positive verb. Another example. I won't buy it for anyone but only her or but her. Kanojo ni shika katte agenai. Kanojo ni shika katte agenai. So here we have a negative verb, katte agenai, agemasen. But for dake, I'll buy it only for her. Kanojo dake ni katte ageru. Kanojo dake ni katte ageru. So here we use the positive form, agemas or ageru. 以上です。皆さん、今日ありがとうございました。もし質問かコメントがあったら、下に書いてください。このビデオは、Like ボタンと Subscribe ボタンをクリックしてくださいね。よろしくお願いします。じゃあ、またね。I'll see you in the next one. Bye!